Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Edmia G. Today's video is my summertime skincare routine. Um, I'm on vacation right now um, and I love to tan, but I get sunburned. So I'm super careful, especially about my face because I love clear skin and I love tan, golden, crisp summer skin. I don't want to burn. I use two different types of SPF. I use my Aveeno and I use Black Girl Sunscreen, which I know you guys have seen everywhere. They're black owned formula, especially for black people's skin, for adults, for children. It has SPF 30 and then back says bye bye umbrella, so you may not be hiding from the sun. Um, and yeah, if you guys, this is my morning skincare routine. I'm sure you guys have seen my nighttime skincare routine, my hydrating skincare routine. If you have not checked that out, there will be links above and below. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy. I start off by cleansing my skin. I'm using the Aveeno Positively Radiant Skin Brightening Daily Scrub. Um, it's moisture rich, gently removes impurities for softer, brighter, more even toned skin. I've been using this for years and it really does even out my skin tone. Whenever I'm using this, like I literally have glass skin. My skin is at its best. I stopped using it and my skin was literally freaking out so i just went back to this and my skin has been on its best behavior ever since um it also has a moisturizer which i'll talk about a little bit later but yeah when you're tanning you want to cleanse your skin as good as possible which you guys see me doing here because you want your tan to be even you don't want it to be patchy you don't want it to be splotchy i'm using my um doable spin brush um, you can use my code Nia G for 70% off, I believe. But yeah, I still use this and I've been going over like my problem spots. As you can see here, like at the height of my chin, I go over that. Um, I do this for about a minute so I can get my problem spots. I can get my skin as clean as possible and I'm using the cleansing head. So now I'm rinsing off the cleanser and then I just pat it dry just a little bit with um, a towel but I do leave my face damp because that's the best way to get moisturizer into your skin but my face was literally dripping so I had to do something. Now I'm taking my eye cream. Everything will be linked down below by the way. I am using my I'm using my the inky list eye cream I'm using the caffeine one I use my retinol for nighttime but caffeine in the morning because caffeine wakes you up and that's what I need under my eyes in the morning time unlike retinol caffeine gives you instant results retinol takes a few days so when you start on retinol it'll take you a few weeks I mean a few days and then up into like a week or two then you'll start seeing the results because that helps with fine lines and wrinkles but caffeine is instant just like if you were to drink caffeine you get that energy boost just like that I'm taking my Freeman hydrating gel cream mask it is glacier water and pink peony it is perfect like this is my secret key you need a gel before a moisturizer I've been doing this method for two years now and that is what's gonna help your moisturizer really stand out and do its job 
and I have literally so little but a little bit goes a long way that's why I was laughing because <laughs> I'm almost out but yeah a little bit goes a long way and it makes my skin feel so refreshed I could even use it by itself without a moisturizer and it would still feel just as good now I'm taking my illuminating daily moisturizer with sunscreen SPF 15 helps even tone and texture i'm actually using the up and up instead of aveeno because the aveeno one the price went up really high recently and this has all the exact same ingredients as the aveeno one it is just a little bit cheaper so i decided to get this one instead as you can see i'm putting this sunscreen all over my face i'm putting it on my ears well it is a moisturizer so i use this in the winter and the summer because you need spf regardless of what the weather is whether the sun is out what season it is i'm putting it all over my face i'm putting it on my lips because my lips have been sunburned before i'm putting it on my ears because my ears are basically directly in the sun especially if i have my hair up and I put it on my neck because you always need a moisturizer on your neck and I put a little bit on my chest and then obviously I put regular body sunscreen on the rest of my body. Now I'm putting on my Jouer lip treatment. It uses three times a day. It makes my lips feel so soft and supple. Um, Fenty Beauty also has their own lip treatment. I prefer Jouer um, just because, I don't know, it's the exact same, but I just like Jouer because I've been using that for longer. Now I'm taking my Benefit Brow Brush and I'm just fluffing them out. As you guys can see, I just recently got my brows done and I'm going for like a little bit of a, you know, natural look. Like I'm just going to the beach i'm just going outside so i'm not really doing anything and i just fill in the tips of my eyebrows just to like show off my natural brows I'm applying my Fenty Beauty Waterproof Mascara. I believe all of the Fenty Beauty mascaras are waterproof, which is perfect. Um, since I didn't get my lashes done, unfortunately, before I left. But that was my fault because it's allergy season and I didn't want to play myself. But yes, this water, I can be in and out of the water literally all day, wetting my face, splashing my face. 
and it still lasts it doesn't run um, and it actually cleanses off really easily if you use um, cleanser face cleanser for your eyes obviously to remove your makeup that is good for eye makeup as I know you guys know, I'm really particular about how I put on my mascara. I want it to be as fluffy as possible, although I do have naturally long lashes. This mascara makes my lashes look curly, and I just apply it the way that I'm directed to apply it. You apply first using the flat side, and then you go back over it using the um, longer side, the small side well you guys see a close-up of what i'm doing and it makes my lashes look so pretty people always ask me if they're lash extensions no if i had on lash extensions they would be longer and curlier but yeah that's it applying my nyx this is milky gloss in the color milk and honey it is the perfect nude i believe it goes with literally every shade of brown um it gives me a little bit of pigment but it still looks natural and cute and i figure why not throw in how i do my edges um i just use a little bit of gel and then i have a little travel size mary's beeswax that i got from the beauty supply um and yeah that's that's it really got my braids done by Perfected by Aaliyah. She is located in Brooklyn and she travels. She came to my house to do my cute little coil of braids. You can barely see them. But I do have another video showing how I maintain my knotless braids. So that applies to this because I use the same steps basically. I use, I've been using mousse all week, gel, and edge control to keep my hair looking cute. So you guys can check that out. That will be linked. All the products that I've been using in this video will be linked down below so check them out and purchase them if you love them like i do that's it for today's video as you guys can see my skin is glowing and shiny i'm going to show you guys me outside in the sun I will not be getting sunburned with this skincare routine. Make sure you reapply that sunscreen, people. But yeah, that's all for today's video. Make sure you check out my hydrating skincare routine because I still do that same skincare routine. And I'll see you guys in my next video.